Let's play the 35th mission, Moonlight Pass. We are playing against two wolves, so let's go on. Let's go ahead, beat, beat those dogs. What's the plan? Well, the plan is simple not to lose in this one. And after that, we can do whatever we please. We just don't want to lose in this one. And that's a simple plan. So I just add this one over here. Connect it something like this. And connect this right over here. And I think we are pretty much safe right now. It's safe to say we are safe right now. So add this wall. Add this wall. Oh, stairs, oh my god. Add the stairs. Add these guys. These guys as well. Add the granary. And add by 30 of these. 20 of these. So let's go ahead and put these guys up to the task. So we're just gonna go ahead and place some houses as well. Place some of these. Place some more of the houses because we don't want to look after that in the future of this one. Place the ballistas. Place these guys over here. Make some more for the start. Place them over here. And now made the engineers place two of them over here place two of them over there and now add some more of the crossbows add some more guys on this side and add some of the guys on the right side as well so we will be attacked with the catapult soon enough and we are gonna make some of these guys as well around three of them on this side and around three of them on this side as well and watch the lions do their shit so buy some more of the wood can we place some farms around here? We can, and we will. And the plan is to do so. Put three of those around here, put three of those around there. And start progressing in this one. What we want to do next is to put like two mills, one next to the other and buy some more of the crossies and start destroying these as well on this side of the map we're gonna place a door and on this side as well we're gonna place the door we're gonna dig something over here if we are able to what how is this in the reach oh my god i cannot believe this is actually in the reach so obviously it is and just because of that we're gonna make two of the mangonels and Ready, there is a lot of the catapults coming our way so on this side we're gonna do something entirely different don't obviously we don't have any more goods so we're gonna 
Can't place that there, my lord. Place two of the queries and start attacking this tower because some things should not be happening and the things that should not be happening is actually this manganel destroying our wall this yes manganel destroying our walls so let's go ahead and put the manganel to the test and our trebuchets are not looking that good right now so we just want to get rid of this tower and I think it's safe that we are pretty much safe. Safe to say that we are pretty much safe. And build some of the bakeries. We are gonna rearrange re that in the future. But for now we just want to get rid of that tower that is actually Posing us. Oh my god, he's gonna go just he's just gonna build another one. So buy buy five of the stone and do the thing with it. Right now we're gonna place them to be selected as number one in this one. And Actually, we have a lot of money, so we will be using that money for some production in this one. Obviously, we don't have enough people around our castle, and that is mainly because I forgot about the food. And right now, we're gonna add this church cathedral and over here we're gonna fight some fights pretty much soon and this catapult is actually going this way so we once again want, want to destroy this we once again we want to destroy this catapult as well as soon as possible so it's destroyed. And for now, we just want our guys to come back to the castle. And from there, we'll be dealing with the rest of the problems in this one. We just want that one to be destroyed once again. And from here, I'm gonna put another farm right over here because I can, of course. And we'll be putting a tower as well as soon as possible. So, obviously this, these guys started working. And right now, everything looks just fine. So we'll place the taxes and place some more of the Fletcher workshops as well I don't know if this one is that much interesting of a map but we are doing the same thing over and over again and they are doing the same thing over and over again oh no oh no come back i thought this catapult is in the reach so basically they are going with the same strategy and i'm going the same strategy myself and the valves are not that rich at all so they would be doing much better in this one on this side we don't have any problems right now for ourselves so let's just go ahead and build some more things in our castle 
just because we can and just because it will make our castle look cool as well so obviously we have some space around here so I'll make some breweries I'll need some of the wood and they pretty much instantly spent all their money which is quite nice and what's going on with these shields I'm just gonna put them around here and this catapult won't see any good from here so obviously the things are going pretty small right now for us We'll just add some more wood cutters because there is a lot of wood out there and we want to use that wood obviously. And from here. We want to check if the tower is back and the tower is back. So we're just gonna do A little more of building around our castle and around here we are able to build some more of the bakeries so why not and we are gonna go two by two I think and make a space around here Wood needed. I think that should be looking fine so everything is looking quite decent right now and we shall be destroying that tower pretty much soon I think I didn't know it's gonna be in the reach because he seems so far away from us and this dude is actually attacking something as well and it's not looking that great because is there any place where we can do a little more of the farm snow there is not so we're just gonna speed it a little bit and add some more of our guys to work around the castle as well so from here obviously we got bunch of the stuff going on inside of our castle and we're gonna destroy a few of these because we want to place some ends here and we're gonna put two more to get rid of this and actually destroy that one once again so just because it's building too quickly I'm gonna place like three more of these guys so I'm able to destroy it like instantly obviously not too much is going on on this side so we can use all the time we have to do some things around our castle which is starting to look pretty decent so right now we want to destroy it like immediately with these new ones and all of these guys should be firing at the same time but they are not firing at the same time right now we might be having some trouble so we're gonna add another one over here the gate around it and we're gonna want to put these guys up to the task so there is a lot of the archers around there and one dude is actually 
weathering us, but I'm placing these because they have a lot of the a lot of the guys actually waiting in side in front of their castle and we don't want that to become a trouble for us anytime soon so we're just gonna place these guys up here and we're gonna place one ballista at two of these guys over there that's pretty much it so we won't be stopping there we will be finishing the other of these as well and we don't want them to have the towers so we're just gonna keep on attacking them provoking them they're coming from this side so we're just gonna take some of these guys place them on this side And I think we have quite a lot of money coming our way. We have the opportunity to allow quite a lot of money coming our way. So why not use it right now? We got a lot of these guys. Too far from my castle. So I'm just gonna add to the furthest point this one because of the angle add three of the shields and what's going on with my castle there is a hole there is a hole but we will close that hole like immediately after noticing there is a hole <coughs> On this side, everything is looking quite decent right now, I think. So we'll be adding some of these guys and some of their friends, the crossies. And from here, we'll be adding all of these guys up there. And I think we are ready to occupy all of the stone as well. So the stockpile is looking pretty big right now. We're gonna speed it like at the 80. And we're gonna add the mercenary post by a few of the assassins and start destroying their thing around there. So we forgot about our main task to keep on destroying that tower. And oh my god, I could have have left it like that, and it would be done with once for all of the times anyways we we're not gonna think too much about it because another, another one shall be soon coming and add one more add some more stone and this one we'll try to make it disappear once for all we just want it at the point where it's almost crashed and we're just gonna select this one this one to show that it and once it breaks we're just gonna deselect the attacking and from there I think they won't manage to build it anymore. So right now we want it stop shooting and it missed. Oh my god. Such 
a lucky move. So destroy the remaining of these. What's the what's rem what's remaining of these? Well, right now I'm gonna add my queries. And from there, add a bunch of foxes, add some houses, and let our common economy get wild. So we're just gonna place some of these around here as well. Nothing too much is going on. And start adding the chapels. If you watched some of my videos, you know I'm a big fan of the chapels as well. And we are gonna add some bakeries right around here as well to at least make it look like it's kind of full in there so this one is not forking anymore and we'll want to add a lot of these guys over here so we don't have enough workers available we're gonna fix that in a moment by destroying these two and adding some more of the houses around here. Can't place that there, my lord. So by adding those houses, it's safe to say we are doing quite a nice job and we're gonna add these two around here. So it's so it looks like something, and from here, we'll want to add a lot of these shields, and we'll start monitoring the religion. Right now, we can do. Oh no, we can't do minus eight, but we can do minus four. So it looks not too bad, to be quite honest with you. So add some more of the chapels around there. And start expanding our stockpile as well. So we just want to take a little break from all the fighting we had in the previous missions and want to enjoy ourselves a little more in this one. And from here we'll be adding a lot of these shields that will be combining with the horse archers I think we won't be using ballistas in this one they managed this one? no they did not so they are attacking us with something which is I don't know what but just because this guy on the right side is actually posing us some kind of trouble we wanna deal with him in the first place obviously and to do so we are preparing these guys for the attack obviously so over here everything looks decent I think and we're gonna use these to show as many as possible of these and over here we are gonna want to add some more of the stockpile Come on, 
Give me a break. So our stockpile looks decent, I think. And we kind of have quite nice amount of the. What's this? Why aren't you doing something about it? The guys are doing nothing about it. So, the horse archers. Are we at plus? No, we're not. I thought we might be at plus 9. What's this? How is this even possible? Oh my god. Oh my god, our guys are actually doing too much right now and we don't want them to put us in a such a great risk. And we we'll want to add some more of the horse archers over here. Destroy these ones once again. And thing is, well, actually, we are doing quite nice right now. We want to sell these as well because we won't be needing those anymore. attacking our walls and we kind of don't have so we managed to fend off that attack and just because this happened right now we're gonna put some more of the crosses up to that tower there's actually not a lot of them over here and they choose to attack that side because there's a small number of our guys over there so buy some more of the horse archers do we need to expand over here we can't even expand anymore we need to bring some more goods to our castle to expand over here so I'm the number one and from here I will be actually attacking the numbers this one is not so bad with the numbers to be quite honest with you so we never dig the mode because oh my god I just hit myself because we thought we wouldn't need that we clearing like anything from those towers I mean we lost quite a decent number of our guys which is not that great thing actually so what's going on okay we're just gonna destroy that mangonel because it's killing our guys and this bitch once again 
So, just to make things pretty clear. We're gonna use this in a tactical way where we'll be adding the army through the woodcutter sleep. So we'll be managing our military by doing it like this. Obviously right now we have a big numbers. So we're just gonna go around and clear everything we can clear and from there we'll be moving on to the next ones. And from here we just wanna we just wanna go defensive, defeat those pikemen and from there go all around the castle I think so we can manage our losses and a message from the wolf we'll be doing this method of killing these guys I think might be the simple way these guys are actually coming to defend so we're just gonna place some more pressure on the guys on the keep and this is the way to neutralize most of the enemies that are around the keep or on the keep so we'll keep on doing this until we defeat those guys and right after we did that we're just gonna go around the castle to kill the most of the guys that are waiting around the castle and as you can see they are trying to attack us with a lot of crossies and we lost a lot of our horses due to the traps he put around of his castle which is oh my god I'm losing some more just because of that and we cleared the air around here and oh wow he managed to dig the water around his castle so we're gonna go with the maceman but we will be buying a lot of the amazements. So we're just gonna go the same strategy. Buy the amazement. And go attack the walls and after attacking the walls, go the moat around the walls. So obviously He's trying, he's trying on replacing the guys he lost in the previous battles, but yeah, he's not gonna manage to do that. And we want to kill these guys as well. So the Mazemen are doing their job. They're attacking the walls. Right now, I want him to dig this part. So, oh my god. I just want to destroy this one as well. And over here, there are some guys attacking us. We want to deal with them as well. And right now, continue killing on these guys. Keep, after that, manage these guys 
around here just because they're posing us some threat. We want to kill them as well. And this looks like he's pretty much done around here. And we are losing some food, but actually we won't be bothered by that too much. So we're just gonna halve the raids and from there... Oh my god, this one. <laughs> he looks so poor right now. So we'll want to bring those fools down. We'll add some more horses, of course, because we lost a bunch of them on the traps around the castle of Wolf, which is not that cool, but it happened and... Oh my god, there is a lot of the wall over here. Obviously, we're gonna make some machines. And this guy. Oh my god, this guy. So around here everything is looking like it should look, but we won't use these guys anymore to manage the rules instead, we'll use these machines to go through the walls as quickly as possible. This guy is actually doing his thing, I don't know why. And we're just gonna try to kill some of the guys on the keep as well to make a job for our guys much easier. Much cheesier. So we are just going through the walls with our machines. Obviously it looks too easy I think. So the drilling machines are doing their business and we need just this one spot and we're just gonna go and destroy this tower as well, it's gonna fall so fast and we're not gonna do that because the guys are actually attacking our guys so we are going straight for the kill from here. And the macemen are running so fast for the kill. Actually, they finished the work. And we're just gonna add some more of the horse archers. And the stockpile is actually looking quite full right now. So all the shields, there is not a lot of these shields. On the towers we are gonna use them as well. For the attack. So this guy did not dig anything too much. And the numbers are outstanding. We're just dominating in this one. And this guy is not managing his numbers too well, I think. So we're just gonna go around here. And there is no fucking way we'll lose this one. So we're just gonna want to manage this tower, I think. And after that, manage the other things as well. We're only losing quite the amount of our guys, but they should be losing their guys as well. And 
the reason to this is actually I'm too powerful to handle. So I just go around the castle a little bit. Send these guys over there. Send the guys, send the machines, do the job, finish the work and finish the mission as well. We'll be looking for this gate, I think, and we'll be entering from that side of the castle as well. So to sell some of the stone, just to see our profit in this one, sell some of the weapon, sell some of the bread, and there it is, we are looking pretty good. We have the amount of the goods the wolf had in the beginning of this one. So I will be just attacking this door. And after we destroy the door, we are going straight for the throat, of course. So 15 of them left, which is more than enough. And these guys are running around like they have no fucking clue what they are doing. So I'm just gonna go and enter the castle with these guys. And we'll be doing the thing where we'll be attacking the lord with the arrows. So finishing the lord with the arrows because I don't want to make any more of our guys. So enough. He'll be done with we'll be done with him. And he'll be done for it's just a few moments. He's hanging in there but there is no escape room and we won't let him to do like anything and that's it. We killed the guy with the arrows which takes some time. But anyways that's the end of this mission. If you like the mission please like the video, comment in the section down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and if you want me to see if you want to see me playing any other games just comment it in the section down below. And that's it, you did this for this mission. See you in the next one.